Hey guys, Shane Starnes with DrawerMotorX.com. Today we're going to be looking at the updated version of Signage Mod 10. There are several new features that are coming to the table through the latest nightlies. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that as well. As you all know, Signage of Mod 10 is based on the latest, greatest version of Android 4.2.2. The thing is very light. It performs very well. As you can see, it flies through the home screens with no trouble, no lag whatsoever. You'll be able to uh, bring up your app drawer with virtually no lag whatsoever. This thing just runs very fast, very smooth. So I ran a couple of quadrant scores. This is on the Galaxy Nexus, so keep that in mind. We're only running dual core processor here. Uh, it's not overclocked or anything, and I'm still getting about 2200 on my quadrant, which is pretty fast. So the latest update of Signage Mod 10 comes with a lot of new features. We'll go ahead and look at those, starting with the newest edition. Pi Control is probably one of the most popular mods that's out right now. It started out on Paranoid Android. It's finally made its way into Signage and Mod. So as you can see, you'll need to enable Expanded Desktop. You'll have to press the power button to bring up the power menu, and uh, then you'll change your mode into Desktop Mode. And then you'll have your Pi Control there. As you can see, it includes not only navigation functionality, but also your date clock and access to email and other notifications. So we'll turn it off just to make it easier to navigate through the settings. So another cool feature is the quick launch shortcuts. Uh, it's been on Android 4.2.2 for quite some time now. That's how you access Google now. But in Signage of Mod 10 and some other AOSP ROMs, you're actually able to add other shortcuts. So whatever other application shortcuts you would like to add, such as Google Talk or a browser, you're now able to do that as well, which is a pretty neat feature. So you have some status bar settings. You can choose to enable or disable the clock. You can change the AM PM style. You can change your battery icon. I prefer the text icon. You can enable or disable brightness control. You'll also be able to customize your quick settings panel. Uh, this is really neat. You can do a right or left quick settings pull down or you can turn the quick pull down off. And then of course you can actually edit your tiles as well. So you can add or remove whichever quick setting tiles. You have some sound modes there. Power menu, you can add screenshots to the power menu along with everything else that's there. You can also change the clock widget settings. Notification light is pretty cool. Uh, this allows you to change your notification LED so that it can swap colors depending on what app you have it set up for. I'm going to go ahead and set missed calls to purple, voicemails to green. This way, whenever I get a missed call, I'll have a different light from when I have a voicemail. That way I'll know exactly what the notification means. You can also choose an individual app and set the LED notification light for that as well. You do have some navigation bar settings. You have your launcher settings. This is the Trebuchet launcher that comes standard with Signage of Mod 10. You can change grid sizes, home screens. You can remove the persistent search bar. You can do transition effects, all kinds of nice goodies in the Trebuchet launcher. You have some lock screen settings. You can enable and disable different sliders as well as some added security and then you guys saw right there the theme chooser any signage in my 10 theme from the theme chooser you'll be able to install that on the fly of course you do have some performance settings unless you're running a custom kernel you're not going to be able to overclock right now i'm not running a custom kernel so i don't have that option then of course you do have some cpu governors as well of course, Signage of Mod 10 comes with a pretty sick boot animation, as always. This is a Signage of Mod boot animation that we'll see from here on out. If you enjoy custom wallpapers, of course, Team Signage of Mod has you covered there as well. With their Signage of Mod wallpaper application, you have several CM wallpapers to choose from. We'll go ahead and install this ROM. First, you'll need to power your phone off and then boot into recovery. Once you're in recovery, it's pretty easy from there. You're gonna wipe data, factory reset, then you'll just wipe cache. Then you will simply wipe Dalvik cache. When all your wipes are complete, you'll go ahead and install the ROM. 
So just install the latest nightly or whatever you have downloaded. Check to make sure that that is what you're installing. Then you'll swipe to flash. Then just be sure that you do install the G apps before you reboot the device and swipe to flash. When that's all finished, you will be able to reboot your device and boot into CyanogenMod 10. Pretty simple stuff. So guys, that's all for signage in my 10. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button. Pull the trigger on the subscribe button as well for more coverage in the future. You can find me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in tech news and information. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.